Picture this. It's four million years ago. The air hums with the calls of ancient wildlife, and the earth is alive with the rustle of leaves underfoot. Amid this prehistoric scene, an extraordinary evolutionary experiment is taking place. The first tentative steps toward modern humanity are being taken, but not by who you'd expect. Welcome to the incredible story of Artie and Lucy, two fossils whose remarkable discoveries transformed how we understand human evolution. It all began in September 1974. In the sun-baked soil of Ethiopia's Hadar region, paleoanthropologist Donald Johansson and his team stumbled upon a treasure the 3.2 million year old skeleton of a small prehistoric woman. She was later named Lucy, after the Beatles song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, which was playing during the team's celebration. Lucy belonged to Australopithecus afarensis and stood just 1.1 meters tall, about the height of a six-year-old child. Despite her petite size and weight of only 29 kilograms, her skeleton was a marvel. Lucy's pelvis, femur, and spine told an unmistakable story. She walked upright, on two legs, an evolutionary leap known as bipedalism. Yet her long arms and curved fingers hinted at an ancient duality. She still climbed trees for safety and foraging. Lucy stood at the intersection of two worlds, the arboreal past and the terrestrial future. Fast forward to 1994, when yet another groundbreaking discovery emerged from Ethiopia. In the forested terrain of the Afar region, Tim White and his team uncovered the remains of Ardi, short for Ardi Pithecus ramidus. Ardi lived 4.4 million years ago, over a million years before Lucy. At 1.2 meters tall and 50 kilograms, she was slightly larger, but her environment shaped her anatomy in striking ways. Artie had an opposable big toe, perfect for climbing trees, and her hands weren't built for knuckle-walking like modern apes. But here's the game-changer. Artie's pelvis and the position of her spine revealed that she could also walk upright. This discovery shattered the old assumption that bipedalism evolved only after early humans left the forests for open savannas. Artie proved that even in a dense woodland environment, our ancestors were experimenting with walking on two legs. But why does bipedalism matter so much? This shift from moving on all fours to walking upright had profound consequences. By freeing our hands, early hominins could carry objects, craft tools, and even hunt more efficiently. This adaptability expanded their diets, eventually including meat, a high-energy food that fueled the growth of the brain. Walking upright also offered new advantages. Standing taller allowed early humans to spot predators and navigate their environments more effectively. Over time, changes in diet and jaw structure lowered the larynx, enabling complex vocalizations and, ultimately, speech. Bipedalism didn't just change how we moved, it revolutionized how we interacted with the world and with each other. Artie and Lucy represent two pivotal moments in this incredible journey. Artie, the early pioneer, roamed the forest floors, navigating a world of trees and dense vegetation. Lucy, a million years later, adapted to life on the open savannas, refining the art of bipedal living. Together they paint a vivid picture of adaptation, resilience, and the creative ingenuity of our ancestors. So, the next time you take a step, pause for a moment. That simple movement is more than just walking. It's the culmination of millions of years of evolution. It's a legacy that began with pioneers like Artie and Lucy, whose footsteps echo across millennia. Their discoveries remind us not only of how far we've come, but of the endless potential that lies ahead. Artie and Lucy's stories continue to inspire us, urging us to look back at our origins to better understand ourselves today. Who knows what other secrets are still waiting to be unearthed? Stay curious, stay inspired, and let's keep exploring the incredible story of human evolution together. Subscribe, comment, and follow for more journeys into our ancient past.